I'm Eugene Spafford. I'm a professor of computer sciences at Purdue University, and I am the director emeritus of Sirius, our Center for uh, Education and Research in Information Assurance and Security. We regularly see an uptick in fraudulent activity as a result of any humanitarian crisis, uh, whether it's a volcanic eruption, an earthquake, or in this case, the conflict in Ukraine. Uh, criminals use this as an opportunity to prey on people of goodwill, to get them uh, fooled into donating money or resources or clicking on links that they can then exploit uh, based on pretending to be charitable organizations uh, seeking to help the victims of that catastrophe. It's wonderful that people have a willingness to reach out and try to help those who are impacted by these events. But what they should do is be sure that they're actually responding to real charities. The first advice is don't click on links that are sent to you or that you find necessarily in postings online. If you identify organizations that you think are worthwhile and you want to donate to those, try to find the organizations independently. Use a search engine to look for them or go through an organization like uh, Charity Watch or Charity Navigator or CIDI.org, C-I-D-I.org that will have trusted links and trusted information so you know you're getting to the actual charity. Most of these scams are set up to take whatever people are willing to donate. However, it's also the case that they ask for credit card numbers or other information such as bank account for transfers. If they get that information, they can actually charge far more than you thought you were donating. And this can result sometimes in unexpected thousands of dollars of charges. They also may be able to get links to get access to your accounts, to your personal information, and if you visit these sites from work or school, they may be able to download malicious software that will give them further access to those organizations. The result could be the installation of ransomware or other kinds of fraud that could cause uh, considerably more losses than what you thought you were donating. Um, sometimes it's difficult to determine uh, online if the web page you're visiting is the real site or not. The people who do these scams very often steal copies of legitimate charities, so simply looking at the site isn't enough. It's more important that you don't click links that take you to the site, but you independently find it. Go through a trusted site like Charity Watch or Charity Navigator. Use those sites to identify and then examine the site carefully to be sure that it really is the one you think it is.